my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because just saying hello. I am. Hi guys. Hello. How are you? Hello. No cow today. No cow. No. no cow. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh. Hang on, I'll be back. Uh oh. This is what we were telling you about, everyone. Look. Hey. There it is. Looks good. Looks awesome. You work for a great team, Tracy. You. Now I have to put that back where it was. That'll do. That'll that do? Work. Are we good? We're all good. Alright. We're all good. We've got everybody in, everything in. We're in. Okay. okay, so what are we doing today? Oh, we're going to do a quick chat on chemicals. Chemicals. Last Interesting. Some chemicals. Okay, yes. so are we moving more into the embalming side of things today? Or yeah, well, are these chemicals that you use normally as a mortician day to day? Uh, I'm going to show you embalming chemicals and other chemicals that we use also on a daily basis. Okay. Okay, so we can start with the embalming chemicals. Let's. That, uh, Andy's been wanting to know this for a while. Hi Andy. Hi Andy, <laughs> how you going? Yeah. So, Alright, hit me with them. Well, don't, not physically hit no. me with them. No. I don't want to be embalmed at this point. Mm -hmm. Why not just shut me up, but no. No. Okay. Sure. okay. What have we got? Okay, so we need three main ingredients for embalming. Mm -hmm. Okay. We need an arterial fluid. What does that do? An arterial fluid is the preservative. Right. Okay. Right. So that's the thing that actually does the embalming. Yes. Right. And the arterial fluid goes in the arteries. Um, yeah. So we've got your arterial fluid and we've got an index here of 35. And we also have a different arterial fluid that has an index of 20. That's so like bleach. It is. It's different strengths. Right. So, you know, it depends on your cases of either you're just doing a embalm to preserve for a couple of days because the person's going home for a night uh, and the, there's no major conditions. Nothing major, like there's no renal failure, there's no edema, there's no complications. Nothing that's going to cause So to it's basically, to yeah, so you just, so it's a simple uh, embalm. So we might use just a, a low index to embalm that person. Mm -hmm. It won't, once we go into more complicated, we've got renal failure, we've got jaundice, we've got um, you know edema and all kinds of stuff. And you'll change your um, percentage, uh, sorry, you'll change your um, index on your arterial fluid. And also, you might add a bit of difficult. This is for difficult it's cases. Called what? Difficult additive. Difficult. Yeah. I need that in my life. Difficult additive. <laughs> oh, today's going to be a difficult day. I'll have a little bit of difficult additive. Yeah. Actually, I think I already do have that in my life, but it's not called that. Oh, dear, dear, dear. dear. Um, dear, dear. Right, so hang on. You use difficult. What is difficult? What is that? Who would name a product <laughs> difficult? <laughs> well, it's it's a very it's a stronger index. It's 35, this one. So it's similar stuff. It's the same, it's arterial fluid. Right, but you just add it to some of this to yeah. go So you're bow. just adding a few, you know, like um, 25 milliliters to your tank of uh, fluid, you know, if you need a little bit. If it's starting to slightly decompose or you think it's going to be a difficult case to embalm, right. like the difficult. But you need three chemicals for a basic simple embalm. Mm -hmm. So that's your first, which is your arterial fluid. And then you've got what we call a pre-core, which is um, a pre... Pre-co. Yeah. Right. So this one um, also goes in the tank with this, and we also need what we call... This one's called chelated, but this is a water. This is just water, but it's a special water. Why do they have weird names? Oh, no, just companies have different names. It's special water. What's special about it? So it's a modifier. So it's modified water, and it'll help these modified to do what? To help these chemicals go through the arterial system. I got a question. Yeah. Can I smell one? Uh, you can. You'll probably find that the water solution is doesn't have a smell. Really? I'm not supposed to smell because you have to wear like masks and stuff. Yes. Yeah, so just be careful. It smells like water. Yeah. You won't really have anything. The additive one. Uh, sorry, not the additive. The pre core doesn't smell really. A mm, little bit sterile smelling. Nothing yeah, major though. Smells. Certainly not even as, as severe as nail polish remover. Or but this like is the stuff that smells and this is what you've got to be careful. So you shouldn't inhale it. Just be careful. It doesn't really 
really smells strong. It will if you inhale it a lot, yeah. you, and you you shouldn't smell. Okay, it. no, no sniffing. I so know now. Curiosity's been. So we've got our three main chemicals. These always go in the tank together. Uh -huh. uh, but if I'm making up um, in the tank uh, and I want to um, an embalm a person, that's a natural case. There's nothing major going on. There's no renal failure. There's no chemotherapy drugs being given or anything like that. I want to mix just these three basic chemicals. So the water from the bottle, yeah. is that like the bulk of the water in there? Like no, 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 no. I want to do, say, say I want to do 2% and that's on an average person, but I need a full tank. I need a, a I need my 12 litre tank filled, okay? I want to use 12 litres. This is not going to make 12 litres. I don't make 12 litres out right. of chemical. Right. I'll work it out where I need, what chemicals I need. Yep. I'll work out. Yep. So if I only need three of these, I'll use three of them and fill the rest with normal water. Right, so it's you get your strength water. out of here and then you just top it up. And you top it up, yeah. Gotcha. So we've got to work it all out. So right. If I'm going to use two bottles of arterial solution, I need to use two bottles of water solution and I need to use two bottles of pre -core. So whatever arterial solution you use the same of. And then these are the three main chemicals right. we use. Right, okay. cool. So when you've got your additive, like your difficult additive, yes. Then you would add that to these if it's a difficult case. Have you got an easy additive? <laughs> if so it's like, easy, you don't need an additive. No, you don't, yeah. So say we've got somebody with jaundice. Yeah. Okay, and we've got a case with jaundice. So it's the colouring that we're looking at addressing? Yeah, right. so we're trying to address the, the colouring. So but if somebody with jaundice is going to look yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you want to embalm anybody, embalming solution will react with a bilirubin in mm -hmm. the blood. Yep. So if you're yellow and you add this you'll turn green right has that happened to you before it hasn't happened to me but i've heard about it happen. right so yeah okay. you don't want green people no we do have an additive that you can use for jaundice oh so again it's a bit like adding your difficult if i've got a jaundice case i might add a, a bit of this jaundice uh, solution in and that kind of color it, it does but you can still you've still got to be careful because it can still go slightly green this is supposed to stop that right but you you've got to still be careful so when you're embalming somebody with jaundice you do a restricted cervical mm -hmm. uh, so you'll embalm the body with probably the stronger solution you know because they're not the viewable areas okay and then you will embalm the head the arm areas with the solution with a jaundice in, so you've got that more careful look to not do any yellow colouring come through on the face. So anywhere there's view, viewing areas, we don't want the skin to turn a green colour. So um, so that's another kind of additive. Cool. For if you have jaundice, we have yep. jaundice additive. So so then based off, oh, we do oh. have another additive. So say we've got somebody that's got a lot of edema. Yeah. So edema is well, swollen, water fluid. like water retention, lots of fluid and all of that. We've got a chemical called dry out, which you can add, which is basically like adding your difficult for your difficult or adding your jaundice for your jaundice. You can add some dry out in so that will dehydrate. Who made these things? <laughs> it's a de <laughs> dehydrating agent. So. Yeah, but why did they give it a name called dry out? <laughs> they expect it. Have you got your dry out today? I don't know. I'm, maybe it's just my head. They're not all called that. Different companies have different names okay. for them. So. It's clever. It is it clever because you'll remember it. Because you remember it. Yes, you do. So we're going to add some tea, <laughs> dehydrate and chemical. But the problem is, arterial solution and farming chemicals dehydrate anyway. Right. So you've got to be careful. Because otherwise, if you put too much of that in, what happens? Well, you don't want to over dehydrate. Then you get mummified, pruny. Well, it's just going to dry the skin out too much, okay? okay. So the dry out solutions used for your, your edema cases where you've got a lot of fluid. So uh, I might not have it, I might not have it in stock, but we've also got a moisturizing solution. Right. Which is a bit like the dry out, it's called moisturizing. So, so it's to add so moisture. So to add moisture into the chemicals. So by if the dehydrate is. Right, so by adding that into the solution, 
Yeah. It actually affects the texture of the skin. Yes. So yeah. it so doesn't it, look so... It doesn't dehydrate. It doesn't no. Look okay. So, you know, it, it, when you're embalming, you're, you're given that um, life look back again and you're filling the tissues with their uh, fluid. And um, so, you know, when you've got that sunken look, they're all... Plumped you know, out. They're plumping out and everything. So you've got to make sure you're not dehydrating as well. Somebody that's emaciated, yep. you know, that you need to... So you might put a moisturiser in. A moisturising chemical right into that wow. so there's a lot of different chemicals and I'm sure there's more different chemicals out there that we need to use and oh and we've got the Omega Decomp what's that for uh, and that's basically for decompose you know for Looks, yeah it, um, I really like the smell of this one can I smell it? yeah <laughs> the Omega you probably only like it because it masks the smell of the other I quite like the smell of that one. Oh god Oh, <laughs> that's bad! I like the smell of that. <laughs> what I think does it smell like? Uh, chemicals. Whoa, <laughs> that's right. How can you like that? It actually smells different in the tank with all the other chemicals. Maybe since when it's mixed to them, it smells oh. different. Okay, so what does it do? It, what does it do with decom? Because all of this preserves and stops yeah, the yeah, so what does yeah. that do? So uh, this is just, a, it's an extra additive again. It's another additive when you've got that difficult case again, it's starting to decompose. So, okay, so when someone's decomposed, and what, what effect do you see on the body when you start adding that in? Well, this one, it's just to preserve it a bit, you know, the decomposition, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about people that are starting to decompose that aren't totally decomposed. Just, just a difficult Whoa, case. Oh, smells pretty rotten. Anyway, so you've got additives. So you've got okay. your main three chemicals. Yep. And then you've got all your additives. Yep. For when you've got the difficult cases yep. going on. So you've got other stuff. And like I say, there's loads of different chemicals out there. Loads of probably different mm -hmm. additives that I don't even know about yet. Hi, I'm Trish from Amiga and this is our decomp solution. Um, now, today we've got a special on that. Okay. Yeah. If you buy one of these, yeah. we'll give you one of these for free. 